In line with our outlook at the beginning of CY24, all asset classes are performing well and in line with our expectation. In this month's edition titled Goldilocks and Three Bears, we will explore how India's economy and equity market are well positioned in the face of three risks namely global events, inflation, and valuations. An economy goes through phases namely slowdown, recovery, stability or Goldilocks, and finally expansion. India is currently experiencing a Goldilocks phase. GDP growth is stable, inflation is benign, while both current account deficit and fiscal deficit, together known as twin deficits, are under control. Forex reserves are at an all-time high. The rupee has been stable in a narrow range for over a year, and the domestic 10-year government bond yield is trending lower. Despite recent global events like the geopolitical tensions or yen carry trade unwinding, India's equity market has remained resilient on the back of strong domestic institutional inflows. We suggest that gold should be part of strategic allocation in financial portfolios to act as an insurance against heightened volatility. In line with global trends, consumer price inflation in India has also been trending lower and is at its lowest level in the last four years. This augurs well for the prospects of lower interest rates going forward. Large caps are trading at lower valuations relative to mid and small caps. However, mid and small caps are expected to deliver higher earnings growth over the next couple of years. Hence, we recommend bias towards multi-cap and large cap strategies through a staggered investment approach. The temperature gauge index remains in the fair value zone. The equity outlook remains positive given robust economic growth, strong flows and capex spending. The expected rate cut cycle will also add further impetus to the economy. The ongoing global events and the approaching US elections may heighten the volatility in the short term. If equity allocation is lower than desired levels, investors can increase allocation by implementing a staggered investment strategy over 3 to 6 months for large cap and multi cap strategies and 6 to 12 months for select mid and small cap strategies. Accelerate deployment in the event of a meaningful correction. US Fed projections for interest rates indicate a downward trend till 2026 and beyond. Domestic 10-year bond yields are guided by domestic liquidity conditions as well as movements in the US 10-year bond yields. India's yield curve has shifted downwards and is gradually moving from a flat curve to bull steepening on the back of favorable demand supply dynamics and well-contained inflation. We reiterate our view to have a duration bias in the fixed income portfolio so as to capitalize on the likely softening of yields in the next one to two years. 30% of the portfolio may be invested in actively managed duration funds to capitalize on evolving fixed income scenario. For passive duration allocation, one may invest in long maturity government bonds to benefit from accrual income and potential capital gains. 30% to 35% of the portfolio can be allocated to multi-asset allocation funds and equity savings funds. These funds have better risk-reward characteristics than traditional fixed income by through a combination of domestic equity, arbitrage, fixed income, international equity, gold and other commodities. To improve the overall portfolio yield, 30% to 35% of the overall fixed income portfolio can be allocated to private credit strategies, REITs, INVITES and select high-yield NCDs. For liquidity management, investments can be made in floating rate, 9 to 12 months, and arbitrage funds, 3 to 6 months.